What's up guys and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to learn how to design CD environments in just a few clicks using my new CD as a pack. The pack includes all of my CD models and accessories that I've been using in my best renders. So to demonstrate this, we'll be creating this scene in Blender. In video part 2, we'll make it look awesome using After Effects and some handy compositing tricks. So let's jump right into it. So if you click the link in the description, you'll be able to buy this pack for only $1. Uh, when you open up the Blender file, you get this big mess of uh, garbage. Okay, hear me out. So this animation was made with these exact assets, this one too, and this one as well. My point is that no one notices if they're super high quality or not. And if you have the option to choose a lower quality, you'll be able to create so much more. Because now you can duplicate these assets over and over again without crashing your computer. But if you're looking to make a render with direct focus on the city itself, you should definitely buy some higher quality models. Anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. So when you open up the file, you'll have all these building facades, skyscrapers, roads and decorations that you're free to use in any of your scenes. So how do you use these, you may ask? Well, you basically just copy them to other projects. So that's what I'm gonna do with this parking lot thing. I'll just position this somewhere in the middle and find a fitting HDRI. I use this one from HDRI Haven. Now I'm gonna add this sidewalk and put it right here. I recommend to place it next to already existing crevices to get that natural look in the textures. Now we can add an array modifier and make the sidewalk longer. Try positioning your viewer where you want your camera to be. If you hit shift alt zero, your camera will teleport to your viewer. I'll now change the focal length, fine tune the camera position and add some depth of field. We need a focus point, so I'll go back here, take this vending machine and paste it in our scene. We can also make some adjustments to the size and position to get a realistic feel. I'll also change the resolution to square aspect ratio. Now when we have that fixed, we can do some further adjustments to the camera. We need an environment, so I'll just pick this one and paste it in the scene. Adjust the size and proportions, get another building, adjust the scale, more buildings, why not add decorations? Look at us, we already have a decent looking scene. Now it's just a matter of adding more stuff to get rid of all that empty space. Now to add some interest to the scene, we can start playing with the shadows. So the more real life elements you implement to the scene, the more believable it gets. So by putting this plane here, we'll get this nice shadow just wiping through the scene. That will definitely spice it up. Now we're ready to render this out. I'll put my samples at 400 and if you have an RTX card like me, you should definitely enable optics. It will render your scene so fast, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. In the next episode, we'll be learning how to make this scene look awesome in After Effects. So stay tuned for that and peace out.